welcome back, fruitful listeners, to another episode of From the Vine. So right. happy y'all are here. We just did our episode on keeping peace in the home with Jesse's favorite thing. <laughs> what is it? What's your favorite thing? Keeping routines and schedules <laughs> and rituals, but I can still be spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Yeah, she's, I totally she can. surprises me all the time. <laughs> um, I'm so spontaneous. I spontaneously <laughs> made homemade pizza tonight when we could have had tacos. And it was really good. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, in this From the Vine, what we wanted to do is give you a look at what our routine is and how we utilize it in order to be fruitful in our home. So... Maybe you can take a look at our routine and get something from it. You know, obviously our lives are not your lives and all of us have slightly different schedules or completely different schedules, but maybe you can grab something from some things that we do and um, add it to your life somehow or another. Maybe it'll be fruitful for you. Yes. So starting from sun up on a typical day, we try to get up around 4.30. Um, Cody usually has an alarm set for earlier, but with a three month old, it just has not been happening. Yeah. So 4.30 to 5 is normally when we are up um, yeah, at the sure. current moment. And so um, how that works for us is we both work from our property, um, having the wedding venue here and doing the online businesses and woodworking. We're fortunate enough to get to work from home. So our whole day, a typical day, is here other and than scheduled chores. scheduled around our work, which is all the things that she just mentioned. So it could be without a schedule completely chaotic and yes. random all day every day because we have so many responsibilities again though being they are from home we are able to schedule around them in such a way where we have a lot of freedom that um, other jobs might not necessarily give people but we have had times where we don't follow a schedule and we feel like we have no time, even though we should have loads of time with yeah. the types of, of jobs that we do. So, Yes, yeah, so um, <coughs> around 4.30, Cody comes downstairs. We live in a carriage house, so um, this office space and like workshop area is downstairs and we live above it. He comes downstairs reads his Bible, prays. You want to talk a little bit more about that? It's, we just both start our morning off with Jesus. She kind of just <laughs> said everything that I do down here. But yeah, I, I come down here, I, have, I make sure to grab a cup of coffee. We have our coffee machine scheduled for around four o'clock. Yes, coffee is a priority. So I get up and this is slightly changing a little bit because now she's not reading in bed as much anymore. But normally I would fix her a cup of coffee fix me a cup of coffee, give her a kiss, come downstairs. And the first thing I'm doing is trying to wake up. While I would love to say I just snap right into prayer, I, I'm not the best person at waking up. So usually um, just checking emails and doing some things like that while I'm drinking my coffee to try to get myself in the right frame of mind. And as soon as I'm I'm starting to kind of wake up. I go straight to prayer, and I always start my day off with prayer. Sometimes they're long prayers. Sometimes they're, you know, a minute and a half or two minute long prayers. That are, it's just basically, Lord, you know, help me throughout this day. But the most important thing I always make sure I have time to pray for is that the Lord brings clarity to me during my morning reading and um, speaks to me through his word you know so i then proceed to to read the the bible uh, depending on what i'm reading um, and how long i give myself by actually waking up according to our schedule i may read scripture for an hour or so and then um, after that i'll read a theological book that I'm currently reading. Right now I'm reading Calvin's Institutes, so I read some of that for an hour or so. And then I work out, and while I'm working out, I'm reading another book in between sets. So right now I'm reading a prayer 
uh, a book about Charles Spurgeon's prayers. So I kind of I read like little paragraphs in between each set during my resting period. So and, that uh, after is, that, yeah, it's so usually that's around um, seven thirty or something. Yeah, when I come upstairs. So for Cody, that's from four thirty to seven thirty, and then for me at that time, I do breastfeed um, Micaiah. He is three months right now. As we all know, baby sleep is ever changing, but thankfully, <laughs> yeah. it has been pretty easy this postpartum he's done really well and so what we've been doing is he's typically waking up around 4 30 to 5 and so i am feeding him in bed while cody was bringing me a cup of coffee i would drink my coffee and i was usually in prayer during that time and for a while there i was reading my bible in bed while micaiah was just like sleeping right. on me until i got up for the morning to start breakfast and things at seven <laughs> right now i typically will go to my desk area after feeding the baby i'll lay him down and i'll read my bible there where i can take notes i usually try to read at least 45 minutes and then i will do some of my business work so i will try to get emails answered like emails that were sent the night before for our wedding venue i try to have all that answered before the kids get up because it does take it'll take my entire lunch period that they nap to do it later on in the day. So I prefer to get it done in the morning before right. they get up. And then I start breakfast and Cody comes up and usually helps me finish it. And we kind of just tag team breakfast and cooking breakfast and the chores and watching the kids while we shower, things right. like that. And that is usually stopped at 8.30. Is the when schedule has helped us really slow down and actually enjoy breakfast. Yes. So before the schedule... When you don't realize you have time allotted for certain things, the tasks you do, you feel like you have so many things that you are required to be doing right at this moment that you rush all the tasks that could potentially be enjoyable and fruitful. Yes. And I really wanted to start using breakfast time for uh, catechizing and talking with my boys in general, but mostly about God and teaching them so with this schedule the way we have things scheduled i am out of the house by 8 30 and by that i mean i come downstairs and literally go outside to work or i'm working right here where we're sitting right now so right now i pretty much work all day yeah so usually <laughs> 8 30 to 3 30 not is every kind day of is the exactly the same we have there's all sorts of appointments and things like that yeah. that get thrown mm -hmm. in but a normal day would look like me working till something around 3 30 30 yeah and so so what happens with you during yeah that for time? me it's um usually from 8 30 to 9 30 <laughs> is me cleaning up the house and the kitchen from breakfast, taking showers, getting dressed, getting the boys dressed, getting Micaiah down for his nap. And then we do homeschool. Homeschool is normally, I try to start it by 10. Homeschool usually takes about an hour. And it also is involved throughout the whole day going outside and learning that way. But just sit down time is 45 minutes to an hour right now. And so we try to end that by 11. That's my goal. <coughs> Sometimes it doesn't end till 1130 and then we have to have lunch immediately. And then we do the boys nap time. So the boys usually take a nap around one. But if we can end the indoor homeschool time by 11 or 1045, then we get about 30 to 45 minutes outside before they even take a nap and let them like burn off energy. So I really like doing that. And depending and on where I'm at in work, when I say I, I literally just work from 8.30 to 3.30, there's time in there where, A, I'm stopping for lunch with them, which is what she was about to get at here in a second. But say they go outside and I'm like, I'm way ahead today. I'm going to go hang out with them. So mm -hmm. that's that's time where this type of work that we do. Yeah. Our self-employed work gives to, us freedom. Yeah. Have yeah. the freedom to go hang out with them whenever they're doing their outside yeah. time. And that helps her out a lot when I can do that. Because if Makai is up for, for instance, and she really wanted to take Asher on like some type of adventure to teach them something kind of like they're outing at school, yeah. it's difficult to do with yeah. 
she's already having to drag Callum around. So um, I'll help out with baby Micaiah. That's not even all the time. It just kind of depends on what my work currently is that day. And it depends what my work is. So exactly. sometimes he takes the kids yeah. a- after nap and I have work to do. Yeah, because we'll um, have showings here at the venue. And so again, kind of what we're laying out is what a, a typical day looks like, but we do have showings at the venue where we'll have tours out here and have several clients. Yeah. And we seem to book more whenever she does the <laughs> the tours. So lately, lately I've been having her do them again, which I was doing them forever. Um, he was doing them after I had the baby. Yeah. But anyway, so now I'll be, I'll watch the kids when we have things like that, like the tours. By 12, we usually eat lunch, try to eat it as a family. Sometimes it, lunch is very small at mm-hmm. our house. So like um, it can be kind of like, a homemade lunchable is kind of what I give the kids typically or we have leftovers from the night before and then sometimes Cody comes and eats with us that's not like that's the only meal that I feel like we're kind of flex with it's it's yeah, more for casual me, it, for us we don't make a big deal out of lunch because it is like in the middle of a work day you know so say I'm not hungry yeah I mean whenever I'm sitting down here editing videos like I'll munch on something while I'm editing a video. So I don't, being I'm not burning off a lot of energy, I just I just don't get hungry enough to want to go eat lunch. So yeah. a lot of times I'll skip that. If I'm working really hard doing stuff outside, then we'll take the time to sit down and have a formal lunch sometimes. Yeah. And especially it's just completely up to us, which is yeah, nice. Yeah, lunches are really random. Yeah. And so it's usually naps around one. And Asher, my oldest, is four, and he does still take a nap on most days. And it only lasts 45 minutes to an hour. Now, um, Callum, he's two. His naps um, are long, uh, usually two to three hours. Like today, we wake him up from naps all the time because he sleeps a lot, which is nice. And and then Micaiah is kind of random. He can be up during their nap time going. I try to get it a few times a week. I usually can accomplish them all going to sleep and sleeping That's for about a an hour. task. Yeah. But even if they are all sleeping at the same time, it's yeah. not usually for very long. But during <coughs> that nap period is like my most focused task of the day that I try to get accomplished. So I plan weddings. So sometimes that'll be um, typing up a timeline for a bride, communicating with vendors such as DJs, things like that. Right now, since we're working on building courses and stuff like that, trying to fit that in, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> that's been that's been tough. Yeah. But we really need to do that. So we're – trying to get a lot of filming and stuff out of the way for you guys and try to have some backlogged film yeah so that we have time to work on that stuff for y'all and not appear like as workaholics to our children because that's a big deal to us is to be present with them and enjoying the freedom that these jobs allow for us to have and so that usually 2.30 is when everybody's kind of up from naps. Callum, sometimes it's 3.30 for him. But usually I promise the boys that we will go outside. So we usually spend the afternoon outside. And whether that means Cody takes it off and I work out around 4. That is um, the planned schedule is around 3.30. I'm wrapping up because... I work out in the morning around 7 to 7.30, and then she gets her workout starting around 3.30. So assuming there's nothing overly pressing or something going on with her. Or we just don't want to spend the afternoon together because <laughs> sometimes right. we just skip it. We don't prioritize working out near as much as we did no. when we were younger. Now it's mostly like, hey, I know I want more kids So I really need to make sure that my body's healthy, that I'm taking care of it. Health is extremely important. Yeah. We've always been really into fitness and we've idolized it at times, I think, in our past. And it's not that we're afraid to do that anymore. It's just we found things that are more important. Like our family. (laughs) Yeah. So I, I do whenever I'm working outside now, I'm like, wow, I'm out of shape. You know, Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'll be doing something that's physically demanding and realize I I really need to get back working out again. 
uh, more routinely. So that's why we, we started doing that again. But if we want to spend time as a family in the evening and a workout routine gets in the way of that, or if I'm down here reading and it sounds like she's having a hard time up there with the kiddos one morning or something, say they all wake up in a bad mood or whatever, I'll skip my workout and just go upstairs and help with breakfast or something. It's not uncommon for us to skip workouts and it's not due to laziness. It's just because we honestly prioritize family time together above those things. And we also prioritize things such as this, like a podcast, because here we are at past 9 p.m. (laughs) (laughs) making podcast episodes for you guys. And that's because we really do. So it's 9 24 this one will be finished up soon and then we're going to hit pause (laughs) and record another podcast and then another from the vine after that so yeah that we have notes typed up for so that's just something that we do is is we take that this is a priority to us so that means we have to get it done and so we do so (laughs) after we work out slash hang out in the evening we have dinner. What's dinner look like? Yeah. And so that is more regular, just like breakfast is. Yes. So dinner right now, I try to have us eating by 530 to 6. Now, it is still getting dark early in the summertime. This gets pushed way back. And it does. And yeah. it's because we love being outside. And honestly, I would rather us just have a quick dinner. And I think this summer, I'm going to try to have us eat eating outside a lot we had talked about getting a picnic table and i think that would just be nice just because we love it like we literally stay outside till dark like every day (laughs) as long as the weather's good and i really don't want to stop that i enjoy it so much and um so that's something that we try to do is eat right now between 5 30 6 o'clock usually the boys might be getting a bath right before that. That's always my goal, that they're bathed and in their night clothes at dinner time. And then we usually have about an hour to an hour and a half after dinner for family time, every night indoor family time where we're reading. Looks like movies. Yeah. It looks like worship time. It looks like reading. And sometimes some will take priority over others depending on – if we want to finish a, mo- a movie, for instance, and it runs over, we may not get the reading time that we want in. We, I really want to start prioritizing worship time in the evening, and we haven't completely prioritized that yet. And I've been feeling convicted about that. But we're doing talking. better. We're but we are doing better, yeah. right? So we're working towards that. And it's also hard because um, I have a women's group now that we're trying to go to. I try to go to one night a week and then Cody has gone two nights out of the week. And And that's something that years ago I wouldn't have seen as a priority. But now with the kiddos and with her, for instance, doing we, we work from home and then she's with kiddos all day long. She needs time with like-minded women that are Christians and just to talk about life and to talk about the Bible. It's a Bible study. It's a Bible study is what it is. And it's the same thing with me, with the men's group. He has worship practice at church one night and then a men's group on another night. And so that leaves just you know, a few, a few right. nights are taken up with those things and that's okay. It's only a couple hours for, for each of us. I mean, we, we obviously, yeah. but we try to keep on routine. So the parent yeah. that is still keeping the kids we I mean, I don't do worship. I mean, we sing, but I'm not like playing uh, the guitar you worship. and stuff. She uh, worships her butt <laughs> off. <laughs> but, um, it just don't look the same, but we no. still get it done with the kids. With me, we tried, we try to sit down with the guitar, you know, with her, it's let's put on Phil Wickham or yeah, somebody like that. Yeah, and we just sing TV. along. Yeah. And they sing and dance. Mm-hmm. Honestly, her worship looks more fun than. <laughs> they do the not street. mind um, dad's night sound, oh, I they guess. Love it. They, yeah, <laughs> they love it for sure. <laughs> um, but that's it. And then the kids, we try to have them in bed by eight. We've tried it to be earlier and it just doesn't work. Like, they struggle to it get to bed. It doesn't work yeah. out. It doesn't work, and it's just not enjoyable. We, yeah. We're trying to have time together, and then we end up fussing at them to go to sleep for an hour, and it's just not worth it. And so 8 o'clock is a good bedtime for them. Baby is either 
Maybe he's been going to sleep around nine to ten. He's a late bedtime sleeper, but that's getting better too. Yeah. And now baby, he sleeps all night, so we really can't complain about baby Makai. He turned into one great sleeper. Yeah. He does. We'll put him to bed like seven. We usually put him to bed at seven. Right he, now, he always just wakes up. He an wakes hour up later. for a feeding. So <laughs> he has one last, one last. Yeah, he doesn't wake stay up. up long, but he. So, anyways, after. The both the boys, the older boys are in bed. We read and um or watch a sermon. Right, depending um, on exactly when they go to bed, because it, it, we can't really enjoy ourselves, you know, until we just know for sure they're they're conked out, and and that's mainly because Callum is a talker and he'll be in there talking and trying to keep his brother awake, and then his brother comes in here to our room to tell us. Callum won't be quiet, and so it's kind of like this back and forth, so I can't really concentrate on our books or anything, but once we know they're they're sleeping, yeah, we read, or depending on how our day went, we might be watching Vody Bacham or mm-hmm. Paul Washer or something mm-hmm. on YouTube instead. Yeah, sometimes um, I vent for a little while. We usually talk for a little yeah. bit, because we yeah. it's hard to get conversations yeah. in um, that aren't about Monster Jam these days. Our shower together is a, a, like our first conversation time that we get all day. Yeah, that is something I guess we should mention. I don't know if we've ever said that in any of our videos. We shower together in the oh, evenings, yeah. typically. It's not together. always, but it is It is a lot. That's kind of our normal While thing. she looks beautiful with no clothes on, it's not like a romance thing. No, it's, it's just, just a... Convenience it, thing that and, we've done since we got married. It's just yeah, something we always we do. shower together, but that's time we get to talk. Yeah, usually <laughs> <The> four <laughs> kids. It might have been random times where it turned into romance or something, but for the most part, now it's just like <sighs> <laughs> just sit there in the the hot water and yeah. talk about our day, mm-hmm. so that whenever we do sit down in the bed no after that, read. then most of the venting's done. <laughs> Most of it. No pointing fingers or anything. Um, (laughs) I have my days where I vent on you. A little bit. Um, But that's really it. That's a typical day. We love our days. Some days aren't as fun. But to be honest, we have, um, we've been very blessed. There's lots of joy in our days. There's lots of peace. The more disciplined our children are getting, the more peace there is. Mm -hmm. Um, But there's... Lots of learning moments that are are super. They're just awesome. Yeah, seeing seeing my like seeing Asher, some of the things he asked me about God throughout the day is pretty amazing. It's like I don't usually make it a huge deal that he brought it up. I just answer his question, but inside I'm like, my son's awesome. Yeah, you know, it's like little affirmations that yeah. us being here and being their primary source of education and teaching them the bible really pays off and we I see thank it god nightly during my prayers with asher for god drawing him unto himself at such a young age and i pray that that he just keeps doing it because it's beautiful mm-hmm. you know it is it's fun it's very fun. waiting on him to, waiting on him to start working on callum <laughs> <laughs> He's working on Callum in his own way. Callum, Callum is now. Callum's a wild child. He gets, we do that penny reward system, and Callum's been getting pennies because he can be silent while we're yeah. praying, please. Oh, <laughs> that kid. He literally, hey man, I get a penny. I'm like, wow, you did it for the right reasons too. Good job. <laughs> we're working on him. Uh, <sighs> anyways. Hopefully we didn't bore you with that. I have no idea how long we just recorded that. Oh, well. Now you know our typical routine. That's our typical routine. Again, there's all sorts of wrenches that get thrown in there. But for the most part, that's what our days look like. Yep. God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will see you on the next episode of From the Vine. Bye, guys.